Hamas says it has been in talks with Qatar, Egypt and Turkey as part of mediation efforts. Human Rights Watch has called out Israel's defense minister for war crimes. Great news as medics successfully transfer a kidney from a brain deceased child to an adult in Qatar. And finally, the AFC Asian Cup is just under 100 days away and tickets are out now. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Hamas says it has been in talks with Qatar, Egypt and Turkey since the beginning of the latest Israeli aggression on Gaza. Speaking to Al-Arabi, the official said this is part of mediation efforts as well as a potential prisoner swap between Hamas and Israel. Hamas is reportedly seeking to free Israelis it captured over the last few days in exchange for dozens of Palestinian women in Israeli prisons. On that note, Human Rights Watch has condemned Israel's defense minister for calling a full siege of the Gaza Strip. It came after Yoav Gallant said, quote, there will be no electricity, no food, no fuel, everything is closed. We are fighting human animals and are acting accordingly. The statement has triggered outrage worldwide and spiked fears of a genocide in the already blockaded Gaza Strip. Human Rights Watch described his comments as an abhorrent call to commit a war crime. Hundreds of Palestinians have already been killed in Gaza since Israel declared war on Saturday. Here in Qatar, medics have successfully transplanted a kidney from a brain deceased child to a 48-year-old patient. The surgery was a collaboration collaboration between Hamad General Hospital and Sidra Medicine, the first such joint procedure between the two Qatari medical entities. According to Q&A, the child's family offered to donate the kidney immediately upon learning of the tragic news of his brain death at Sidra Medicine. And finally, tickets for the AFC Asian Cup have officially gone live today. The cup competition is set to unfold from the 12th of January to 10th of February 2024, with matches taking place at the various FIFA World Cup venues. Hosts Qatar are also defending champions, having last won the trophy in 2019 in the UAE. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.